Oh no, oh no, you're doing that thing, man. <laughs> oh no, oh no, you're doing that thing, man. <laughs> right, good morning, folks. Here we are. Havuk will travel today. We'll see what happens. We're just going to head out and see, see what goes on. Uh, just like, I just came out of the house there. Way to put some bottles in the bottle bank and somebody went past in a black taxi and tooted. So that was you. Hello and thank you very much. Great stuff. Oh, it's 12.26, man. I can't be. I haven't thought of my clock yet from yesterday. It's only 11. I need to sort that right now. Hang on. Right, folks. We've got a, a black pudding sausage roll from Baines. It's actually really good. Very nice indeed. Hmm. Nice and moist. Good bit of black pudding there. Yeah. Look at that. Got a 7 out of 10. Yeah, very tasty. Folks, the new Tim Horton is getting built here. There it is. Right, folks, that's a new Tim Horton's new coffee shop, Canadian coffee shop. That'll be ready shortly, so you go and try that. We're going into Lidl's. <coughs> Got to get some croissants. Croissants. Right, there we are. It's better. Sorry about that, folks. Yes. Uh, hello, welcome to uh, Bun of the Day. But already, folks, it's just the bun's too good. The bun is too good. I've had to eat it already. So it's half Bun of the Day. Look at this. This is a, uh, a Belgian biscuit from uh, Lidl's. It's 10 out of 10, man. Absolutely wonderful. Um, look at this. It's just so moist and. Mmm. Chewy. It's got enough currants in it to make it give that sort of fruitiness. There's hints of um, cinnamon coming through that. And vanilla, I think the vanilla is from the icing. And you get a cherry in the top, which just about says it all really. This bun with a cherry in the top, definitely a 10 out of 10, man. It's just wonderful. Mmm. In fact, it's so good. I bought two of them. Mm. It's just that icing, man. Mm. It's really thick. A nice good pasting of, of icing there. Mm. And the sponge is that. Perfect way. It's just wonderful. Nice and moist. Yeah, tasty. There's a few spices coming through there. As I said, predominantly vanilla and cinnamon. I've got a coffee. Just to wash it down with <coughs> coffee from Baines, by the way, it's the best coffee ever. The girls in Baines pour the best coffee, man. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm. Sorry, making all these orgasmic noises. <laughs> But yeah, it's a, truly is a wonderful bun. So there you go, a 10 out of 10 for the Littles. Belgian bun. Right, folks, here's our new fence. It's been painted black. Wet. There we go. So that's our new fence. There's the old fence. The old fence is still down there, folks. Look. Totally covered up with grass. Wow. Right, folks, I'm shadeless. I've come out of the house shadeless. It's too bright. There's our new fence. <coughs> it's been painted black. The guy was there doing it today and the, the railing just there as well. So they made a really good job of the fence. I must admit it's really sturdy. They put new bricks on the bottom there. Giving us a nice new railing fence. Painted black. Very good job there, I must admit. It's taken about <coughs> when to, four or five months for it to, probably even longer for that to get done. But as you can see, folks, the one is it's still down there. The old one's still down there. Uh, it's going to be there forever now, isn't it? That's going to become a, a bed of wild grass and all sorts of things. But I'll oh, better not touch that. That's black. I forgot it's just been painted. So we've got wet rails. Excellent. Yeah, so they're doing a really good job there. Apart from not moving the fence, they're a very good job for the council there, I must say. Took a bit of time, but it's done. So quite happy with that. Excellent. Into the kitchen we go. Right, what's going on here, folks? We've got peppers in a bowl of water. We've got some stuff in there. Well, what is going on? Indeed, you may ask, what is going on? So, what is going on, folks, is that I'm making a red pepper sauce. Now, this is a famous jag red pepper sauce from years ago. I did a video about this 
and we haven't had this for years. I forgot all about it for some reason. So we're having this tonight with seven things going here. We've got uh, a tin of tomatoes, some tomato paste, uh, some chilies, olive oil, black pepper, garlic, um, and the peppers go in as well. Some olive oil, do you say olive oil? Garlic, peppers, tin of tomatoes, tomato puree, thyme. Thyme goes in as well, that's it. So what you do is you griddle the peppers so they, they go black on top, and then you just put them in the hot cold water for five minutes, and the skins just peel off nice and easy like that. And then you stick them in this thing here, the mixer, the blender. That's like a tongue, look. That'll be the, uh, what do you call it? Thumbnail, yes, good thumbnail. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and uh, liking and commenting. Thank you everybody who, the regulars who comment on my channel. Thank you so much for that, I do appreciate that. Um, Content wise, not being so, I've been trying to do a few more things. I've seen this pepper's not been burnt properly. Look, damn it. So, what I'll do is I'll cheat, I'll just rip that bit off. And that bit will be in the bin. Sometimes you just get a bit of skin, it's okay. As long as the, the majority of it comes off. There we go. And the red pepper just adds a, a lot of nice sweetness to the uh, the proceedings there, because in there you've got your but it's basically past the sauce, really with tomatoes, tomato puree, olive oil, that sort of thing, you know. Um, and when you add the red peppers, it just adds a, a je ne sais quoi, makes it really tasty. And I can't remember, there's one or two cloves of garlic, so I end up just putting one and one in, uh, one and a half in, because there's nothing worse than food that tastes over garlic. Okay, <coughs> right, here we go, folks. Always make sure you put the lid on the blender first, because it could end in disaster, a new uh, theme for your, for your cupboards or spartan. Right, here we go. Make sure it's off. Somehow this goes on. There we go. Twist that goes on. <coughs> Plug goes in. And here we go. Oh, it's not working, folks. Why is that? Oh, I haven't turned, I haven't turned it on the wall. Here we go. Oh, it's still not working. <laughs> Here we go. It's the all-important taste. Just a spoon taste. Let's see what this is like now. It's a lovely colour. Just because it's lovely orange colour. So here we go. Let's see what this tastes like. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my goodness me, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh the chilies, oh yeah. Mm. Tomato. Uh, and that chilies come through. Oh man, that's really tasty. I made a good batch there, man. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, so content-wise, uh, content uh, for putting in here, I just use my my mind and my eyes to put things in, you know, clove and a half of garlic, spoonful of chilies, a squeeze of tomato paste. The peppers are, are the only thing that's sort of constant. Two peppers, ten tomatoes, that's about it. Uh, a handful of thyme. Yeah, that's uh, just a squidge off, uh, a, a scoosh off olive oil. That's it. So I need a, and a grunge and grunge of pepper. That's it. Awesome. Oh no, oh no, you're doing that thing, man. <laughs> Here we go again talking about this riff that I, I don't know whether I wrote it, I don't know whether it's just, I've got it from another song. I really don't know, man. My mind's confused, so maybe you could help me here. I've just played the riff on the piano there. Right, I've lost my uh, plectrum, two seconds. Right, right, after searching for ages for the plectrum, I found it in my pocket. Yes, the riff is just uh, a C, G, a D minor, an A minor, an F, or a G or something. <laughs> The 
riff, and that's the. I don't know. Do I go ahead and write it, or do I put? I've typed in the lyrics, and nothing seems to come up. So I'll go ahead now. I need to try another wee bit to go with it. So we shall find out. Right, right folks. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. In the uh, in Dobby's, there, I seen this this toy. Sorry, I seen this uh, toy. Here it comes. It's a fidget toy. It's called Sluggy Duggy. Click clack for fidget rattle, and it's actually quite ergonomic for just sort of playing. And it's got these ante antennae which sort of mould into your into your fingers. It's it's, it's incredible. It's, it's really very Moorish to play with, very tactile sort of thing. It was only one ninety nine. I couldn't resist it. Look at the colours on it. I know it's designed for children, now, but it's just a great fidget toy. It's great. Look at it. There it is. Yeah, it's just very tactile. It just fits into the palm of your hand. Very soothing to play with, I must say. And spin it, and it does make this nice little click clacky, plasticky click clack noise. <laughs> so orange, red, blue, green, yellow, purple, red. So there it is. Sluggy Duggy. Don't do anything else, that's all it does, man. That's it. The face on it. It's got oh, it's got a little sort of hook here. Can you maybe get uh, a thread and, and drag it along? Yeah, play with it. Maybe hang it up. Yeah. So there it is, folks. A sluggy duggy. A new kind of fidget toy. You know me and fidget toys. I just can't help myself, man. Rosie did the eyes rolling thing, you know. So <laughs> there we go. Sluggy duggy. Excellent. I can't stop playing with it, put it down. I can't stop playing with it, put it down. I can't help myself. Slowly go, put it in the collection, put it in the collection. Oh no, oh no, he's doing that thing, man. 